In this video, I'd like to introduce a new design of scissor jack, which should overcome the problems that exist in present scissor jacks. This here is now a heavy duty multi-stage scissor jack. It has internal levers, which facilitates the opening of the jack to get it into the optimum position for lift. This jack was developed with the 4x4 owner in mind and people with a low, low slung vehicle. This is the, the lowest position the jacks can start off with. As you can see, it's 120. It can actually jack from 120. Maximum height is 440. We'll show you now. Now that's maximum height. Maximum height, as you can see, is now 440. So the range of travel of this jack is 320. That is the effective lifting range of the jack from 120 to 440. There's a general misconception with scissor jacks. Here you have an over-the-counter scissor jack, certified at 2 tons. On the box, it tells you the minimum height is 98. By printing 98 on the box, they're implying that this jack can operate from 98. This is strictly not true. This is a jack at 98. There's no way this thing can lift from that position. Trying to jack this jack from this position, you can understand that all the force is trying to compress the jack. There is no lifting force when you're turning this thing, the screw. There is no lifting force at all. Okay, now, if you look on the fine print on the jack, it'll actually tell you there what its effective range is. It's a working range is between 320 and 440. The jack is now set at 320. You can see it's nowhere near 98. They recommend you start at that height. Now, I'll show you at one, that height, if you don't try and lift this vehicle, this is a Toyota Land Cruiser. If we had to put this jack underneath and try and lift this jack, the vehicle with this jack, you can see it's nowhere near the car. It, it just won't work. To put this under the axle also won't work because there's no space to actually crank the jack. So you, you're looking at putting it somewhere here, but it's, it's just not suitable. So the only other option now for this jack, if you want to use a jack like this, you'd have to use wooden blocks. Okay, here are the blocks. Put the blocks under the vehicle. And obviously now we'll have to lower it a bit to get it to fit. The jack is now at about 200, double the height of the lowest height that they mentioned on their box. Okay, so now I'll demonstrate this jack at that position and just see how we go. Okay, you can see you're not going to lift this, this vehicle. Let's try any harder. Something will possibly break. You cannot, especially you cannot lift the vehicle in that position. So now we'll demonstrate the other multi stage scissor jack in exactly the same position as this one, just to give you an idea. Okay, yeah, now we're going to put the multi stage scissor jack in exactly the same position as that little black jack you've just seen now. And we'll show you what happens now when we jack it. As an alternative, you can use a ratchet bar. Ratchet bar makes life a lot easier. Just a bit slower, but it requires very little effort, as you can see. The ratchet bar really makes short work of it. There's an extension piece now, which is in the process of development. It's just, a, just an idea right now, it's a prototype. This just fits on like this, with a little thumb screw, 
This is adds height to the jack so that you don't have to block it. So I can give you an idea. Now this is a particularly high vehicle. This thing is, I don't know, about maybe 500 off the ground. I'll just show you now. Okay, so there you go. This is uh, with extension on there. You don't have to put on a block. So if you have a really, really high vehicle, you can just put the extension on. There you go. Okay, we have just lifted the Toyota Land Cruiser. This vehicle is fitted with aftermarket suspension, long travel suspension. There was enough movement in the jack to, to overcome the suspension travel. The fact that this jack could lift this vehicle means it could lift, it can lift possibly any other 4x4 on the market. Okay, a great feature of this jack is that you no longer have to climb underneath your vehicle to jack it. It's not required that you jack from your axle or your suspension. You can actually jack it up against the body, like you would jack a car. The ease of jacking now is it means you can just put it in against your chassis, the side of the car, don't climb under your vehicle and jack it. I'm sure all you Ford F-150, Dodge Ram and Silverado owners will appreciate this feature. I see you guys battling to climb under your cars to try and jack it from the axle and here you go, here's a solution for you. Now we've just demonstrated a Land Cruiser which is the extreme of this car. This car is low to the ground. Uh, you couldn't get, a normal scissor jack doesn't work under this car, it's too low. You can't get a bottle jack under it. The only other option is a garage jack or tro trolley jack. Now we'll demonstrate this jack. This thing's flat all the way. You slide it in under the vehicle. You can see it just, just fits. We'll check this get color. Okay, there you are, both wheels off the ground. The summary here is you want to jack a low-slung motor vehicle. This is a really, really good option because there's not much else that will slip in under a low car. And you can jack this anywhere, on the side of the road, on a rough pavement. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be in a garage environment.